be to reimagine and reframe themselves or to become saints through his famous book, The Spiritual Exercises. Stalwarts like Francis Xavier, Peter Faber, Francis Borgia and Peter Canisius are only a few of them. There are in fact many more on the list and some of them are amidst you. You may recall what the new president of India, Srimati Draupadi Murmu at her vote taking ceremony said. My election is a proof that in India, the poor can dream and also fulfill those dreams. The story of Ignatius is exactly that. It tells us that anyone, including a sinner, can become a saint and make others saints. Your friends who are aware, we live in difficult, dangerous and desolate times. The enemy seems to be stronger today and we are gripped with fear. However, this is not the time to withdraw and withhold. Through, through St. Ignatius, the Lord is inviting us today to, re, to reimagine and reinvent ourselves so that we may create a new future and a new culture in the church and especially in our country. I'm sure the Lord who through the instrumentality of St. Ignatius enkindled many a fire will also fan the spark within us and help us make a difference within and around us. May St. Ignatius help us to walk on a path of continual companionship and collaboration with the Lord and of greater closeness and compassion for his people. Once again, I wish you a very feast of St. Ignatius and a fruitful year. Thank you.